This is ETV Bharat. Welcome to News Time. Normal life was affected in Odisha's capital Bhubaneswar on Thursday with many people preferring to stay indoors in view of Cyclone Dana that barrels towards the state's coastal region threatening to impact nearly half of its population. The Supreme Court Bar Association in an unanimous resolution has raised objections to the radical changes made to the statue of Lady Justice and the emblem of Apex Court without consultation with the bar. Union Home Minister Amit Shah has assured all possible support to Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Umar Abdullah in restoring statehood to the Union territory in the wake of Article 370 abrogation. Asserting that addressing conflicts and tensions effectively is a particular need of the day, External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar on Thursday said disputes and differences must be settled by dialogue and diplomacy. NVIDIA has announced a partnership with Alliance Industries to build AI infrastructure in India. The announcement was made at NVIDIA's first ever AI summit in India, held at the Geo World Convention Center in Mumbai. A flight from Dubai to Kathmandu made an emergency landing at Lucknow's Chaudhary Charan Singh Airport. The move comes after the Fly Dubai flight did not get permission to land at Kathmandu Airport. Jharkhand Chief Minister Himan Soren filed his nomination from Bharat Assembly constituency on Thursday. Khalistani violent extremism is a Canadian problem. A prominent Canadian MP of Indian origin has said calling on the country's law enforcement agencies to take the issue with all seriousness it demands. After losing the first test of the bilateral series against New Zealand, India made a decent start in the second test wrapping up the New Zealand innings on 259. Mumbai police investigating the Salman Khan threat message case have arrested a man from Jamshedpur. The accused was identified as Sheikh Hussain Sheikh Mohsin, a Jamshedpur-based vegetable seller. Log on to etvbharat.com for latest updates.